Hey Vern, we're gonna visit the filming locations. Hi everybody, welcome to the world of Micah. November 11th, 1988, just four days after I was born, a movie was released. Ernest Saves Christmas. It was released November 11th, 1988. John Cherry directed it. Christmas Eve is almost here. And we live in Central Florida, Orlando. That's where they filmed the movie. So you know what we're gonna do today? We're gonna travel back to 1988 and go to Orlando and visit all the filming locations from Ernest Saves Christmas. So let's travel back to 1988 and go save Christmas. You know what I mean? There's Lucy. She's all ready for me. Now the scene where they go to Vern's house, you can't go to anymore, obviously. It was actually a part of the MGM Studios at the time backlot tour. And you'd be able to go back there and that was where they filmed the house that served as Vern's house. But there were two other shots that were filmed on Walt Disney World property. One, I can't go to as well because it's strictly backstage, um, but you can Google it and find pictures of it. It's the Holiday Services building. That building was across the street in the shot where Ernest gets fired from the taxi cab service company that he worked for. Now, the Holiday Services building is basically where they keep all the stuff that goes around the resorts um, for the holidays. If you Google search it, you can find the building. I'll insert that picture right here and show you guys what exactly I'm talking about. You guys can see that the building, the windows and everything matches up right behind Ernest. And this shot, this is also where he gets fired and the guy throws a Christmas tree on him. And the guy also says, don't forget your sack too. Throws it at him, lands right on top of him. That was filmed backstage, can't get to it. So we'll have to use Google Earth. But the other scene that was filmed here that I can get to takes place on World Drive, right next to Epcot Center. This served as the main highway that Ernest drives a taxi cab on. Christmas tree, oh 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 Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. You can see those two palm trees right there, as well as the sign right here. So this is exactly where Ernest was driving with the taxi cab. Pretty crazy. Reminds me of my old days on the figure eight track. And in car number nine. All of this still looks the exact same. You know, I don't want to insult you or nothing, being as we just met and all. Pulling up to the Orlando International Airport, trying to find the terminal where Santa Claus makes his appearance, and we also get to see Ernest P. Whirl flying in if he picks up Santa Claus. I'm gonna try and get the shots and show you guys what Orlando looks like now in comparison to 1988. This is really cool because this is kind of like exactly how the camera had it. You can see this concrete wall right here with Ernest pulling up. We'll make it, don't worry. We'll be airborne before you know it. You can also see this in the shot when Ernest is pulling the guy out of the back of the taxi. Come on, mister, this is no time to take a nap. You're gonna miss your flight. He keeps hitting the guy's head on the top of his car. Mister, this is no time to take a nap. Santa Claus walked out right there. What a place. Christmas time in 80 degrees. Yes, I, I'm used to a colder climate myself. That's where he puts the guy. You forgot your carry-on. Here, you'll need a jacket. And then he sees Santa Claus coming towards him saying, Mr. Mr. I'm a taxi, I'm a taxi. I'm a taxi, I'm a taxi, here, you got one. I'm a taxi, I'm a taxi, here, you got one. Throws everything in really quick, hurry Santa Claus, and they're on their way. All right, so we're walking towards the direction where we first meet Harmony Star. Now in this scene, Harmony Star runs out and she's actually trying to run out of the restaurant without paying her bill. Also, right up here, this is where Ernest and Santa Claus pull up with a taxi cab. Harmony Star runs out, hits Ernest's taxi cab. She gets in and that's how they all meet. And it happened right here. Harmony would have walked out right there, walked right toward us. And if you looked right up there on that little hanger, there was a Orlando Fanatic, which is for the Orlando Magic basketball team sign, hanging right there. Hey, hey. They walked up 
and right here is where the waiter snagged her. Hey! Hold it, hold it, you forgot something. Here's where she's delivering the line, talking about how her brother does this to her all the time. He does this to me all the time, I swear, we go out, right? And he says he has the money, and then we eat, and then he says he has to go to the bathroom, and he sneaks out. You can see on the concrete over here, that design with the checkers, you can see that building right there in the background as well. Pull down right here. And Harmony would have ran right toward us this way. Hey, and right towards where this car is, right here. You can see that overhang in the background. Right where I'm standing is where the fake Santa Claus would have been standing, ringing his bell. Pretty awesome. That right back there is where all the three main characters meet for the first time. It's time to visit our old pal, Ernest P. Whirl. His house is right over here. All right, so the camera would have been set up right here and it would have been a panning shot just like this. And there it is, Ernest P. Whirl's house. Harmony would have came out that door right there and saw Santa and Ernest backing out right here. Bye. Okay. Wish us luck. Oh yeah, luck. Bye. Okay. You can see that house right there in the distance. Awesome. Ernest P. Whirl's house. So cool. There were a lot of different things in this yard though. A lot of tacky Ernest P. Whirl stuff. So cool. People do not want you filming their house. That was not the case this time. The gentleman out front of the house of Ernest's house told me all these stories about how they paid him like a thousand bucks to use his house and take care of him and his family and everything while they filmed there. It was so cool and so nice that he let me go and get a photo and take some video footage for this video of his house. Most people, unless you have some <laughs> money, do not want you filming anything on their house that's going to be used for other things. Rolling in the mucho dinero. All right, we found our way over here to where Santa has found himself in the slammer. So Ernest and Harmony put on disguises and go in and bust him out. And right over here is the exterior building and parking garage that can be seen as the jail. Let's take a closer look. That parking garage can be seen in the background of this shot as Ernest, Harmony, and Santa Claus are celebrating their victory from busting Santa out of the slammer. What? Is that cool or what? Now the way I know this is the building, the trees were not there, but look at the indentions on the tops of the building as well as the glass. That served as the jail in Ernest Saves Christmas. Thank you, Ernest. So there that is. And there's the jail. And this right over here in this parking lot is where Ernest, Harmony, and Santa Claus would have been. Now, I don't know if you guys can see the security guard in the background there. Super nice guy. But he told me that I was not allowed to film from their parking lot. So my shots are not going to be exact. But he was nice enough to let me get a quick shot just to show you guys what it looked like. These steps might as well be Mount Everest. These steps might as well be Mount Everest. Well, Basically, you can tell this is the angle because of the tree here in this window. And where this car is, is basically where Santa and Harmony Star would have been sitting and waiting for Ernest. Well, he's been in there a long time. At least they didn't kick him out right away. Victory is at hand. Victory is at hand. <laughs> now we have to move on to what I like to call Plan B. That right up there is the building that was used as the corporate office for Diamond World Productions. No need to beat around the bush. We know why we're here. Unfortunately, I could not walk over and get the exact shot you can see over here. They're doing a lot of construction 
down here. And it's so funny how this construction is exactly ready to go. But that was Diamond World Productions. That is the production company that was trying to get Joe to sign with them to do their film, Santa's Sleigh, and some other movies. But the actual building that was used for Diamond World Productions is nowhere near downtown Orlando. And we're heading there right now. Hey, Ernest would have pulled in right here. They had a makeshift little thing to check in. And you guys can look in the distance there. You see the yellow? That can be seen in the shot. And right here is where eventually Ernest and Santa Claus would have pulled in. This is Diamond World Productions. Okay, I'm watching the truck. What you can tell pretty much is the building here, but you can see this in the distance. And if you kind of look through the trees there, you can see cars passing just like in the shot with Ernest. Is this where the horror movie folks be? What? Is this where the horror movie folks be? Amazing. I did some research and the way I know this is it is because back in the 80s when Ernest, Jim Varney, was doing the Ernest commercials, this station used to cast and used to broadcast all of Ernest's stuff. So when they filmed the movie, they said, just come down to our station and you guys can use that for Diamond World Productions. Pretty cool, huh? So we found our way over here to the Amtrak station. Now this is where Harmony Star is trying to run away with Santa Sack. I'm gonna show you guys where they filmed it. Wait a minute, is that Adam? What are you doing down here, man? Micah? What are you doing? From World of Micah? Dude, seriously, this is crazy. What are you doing down it's here? Christmas time, you know what that means? What? Jim Varney? Ernest saves Ernest? Christmas. He You're saved it, it. it would not exist if it wasn't for oh, him. Oh, this is gonna be good. You wanna tag along? I'm gonna try and show the uh, train station oh, Harmony. you in your car, so, uh. you know, I was trying to go along. <laughs> Right here, we would have seen Harmony running with Santa's sack and she crossed the train tracks to go inside. It's crazy how 28 years later, this place pretty much looks just like it did in Ernest Saves Christmas. Blows my mind. Crazy thing about them using the train station is when Harmony Star walks through that way, that's not the actual door that she walks in. This is actually the back side. She walks in from the other side of the building. Harmony came in through this door right here. You can tell because of that staircase right there. She walked up to this window and that's where she tried to get a ticket going anywhere. Harmony turns around and looks at the train station just like this and it hasn't changed. Right there's where Harmony was sitting, and the little boy and his sister were sitting right here. Are we gonna miss Santa? No, honey. He only brings your presents if you're good. This is where Harmony would have sat. You can see that window in the background, and the wood paneling is the exact same. Sit down. Small as Harmony Star. <laughs> you can dream that. Yeah, I can dream. So right here is where Harmony Star walks out and you see the little boy and his sister standing right here next to the poles and this is where he's still nagging his sister about there's no such thing as Santa. Okay, there's no such thing as Santa Claus. Harmony Star finally breaks and says, where do you get off? There is such thing as Santa Claus and this is his magic sack. Where do you get off? Don't say that to her. There is a Santa Claus and this is his magic sack. At that point, the little girl looks up at her and says, if that's Santa sack, then why do you have it? If that's Santa sack, why do you have it? You can see that Washington Street sign as Harmony Star is running back to the Children's Museum trying to return Santa his sack. Just made it to a location that's used quite a bit in the film. The Children's Museum, which is now the Shakespeare Center, but in Ernest Saves Christmas, this served as the Children's Museum. 
right here there would have been a christmas tree and you would have seen ernest and santa standing right here and this is where santa gave him the mr fun time play money that'd be 32.50 there you go hey uh this ain't real what this bill carries the likeness of one mr fun time something interesting about that scene when you see the playtime money of mr fun time look at the face does it not look a whole lot like john cherry who is the director of the ernest films So inside was Joe Carruthers' classroom where he was teaching the kids. You walk back there, but now they have the doors closed off and it's the administrative offices. And I asked the guy if I could go back there. And he said, unfortunately, since people are working, I'm not allowed to go back there and take photos. They're working, it's okay. But it was in fact filmed inside there. The car would have been pulling straight towards us. Marty would have gotten out of his vehicle. I walked right here. Jingle bells, checkbook swells, big deals on the way. Hey babe, pop it in the shade. What do you say? All right. Your Orlando Children's Museum sign would have been right here. We would have seen a wide shot just like this. A lot of this has changed. Right over here were some benches. You can see the very top of the hump right here it has some Christmas lights coming down. And of course, the Orlando Children's Museum sign was right over there. Right up here is where Ernest and Harmony Star start opening up Santa's sack and see all the crazy things that come out. I want to show you something. Watch this. I've been looking in Santa's sack right about here. You can tell because these palm trees are still here. The park bench would have been right around here. Right over here is where Joe would have pulled his car up. He pulled right up here and parked right there. This is where Joe accepts the job as Santa Claus. Another interesting fact about this, if you look right over there, in every single shot that they show this area, there's always kids right up there on that hill playing, even in the nighttime. It's Joe. Joe would have walked right here and met Santa Claus right there. In between those doors up there, you could have seen a Christmas tree. You came. Like I said, there were park branches that went right up here, but right here where I'm standing is where the famous handshake happened and Joe Carruthers transformed into Santa Claus. Right around here is where Joe closed his eyes and made a Christmas miracle happen. Snow. And Christmas is going on. It really feels like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Great! And he star stood right there and delivered the famous line, All right, it's snowing in Orlando. Trying to get it as close as I can. Obviously they're doing construction right here and I can't get on this angle, but from right here, and basically where that first flagpole is, imagine Santa's sleigh face, facing the ground, this having Christmas tree lights on it, and that's where Ernest and the elves landed. Air brakes. <laughs> Air brakes. <laughs> the sleigh would have been right there. So cool. Right here is where the end of the movie would have happened. This is where Santa and Ernest all counted down. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donder, and... And Ernest can never remember Blitzen. Ever. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donder, and... Oh, yeah. Right here, Ernest Saves Christmas, the last shot.
that just about wraps things up. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today and taking a closer look at the filming locations of the 1988 film Ernest Saves Christmas. I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas and a happy holidays. The new year is upon us. I'm very excited for what the new year has in store. I hope you guys get everything you want from Santa this year. And if you haven't seen the movie Ernest Saves Christmas, I highly recommend watching it. It's a very good one. Be sure to visit my website worldofmica.com and subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more videos. YouTube.com slash worldofmica. If you guys would like to make a purchase from me and my merchandise, go to worldofmica.spreadshirt.com. And as always, everybody, Stay weird and goodbye. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas!